Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Um, I missed last week's, I wasn't particularly well and didn't want to kind of add in anything extra to have to contend with. But I'm really excited because this week I now have a viewfinder which should make vlogging that little bit easier for me. There's going to be no guessing about whether everything's in frame or whether things are in frame that I don't want in frame. Um, so I'm really excited to have that little flip screen now. My parents are up um, today, so we're having some family time in the garden. Elise has just decided she wants a quiet five minutes, so she has gone in for a little bit of a rest. And I'm wondering whether it would be um, a good idea to do a bit of a vlogging, wheelchair, camera, setup type video. Um, it's this is another reason why Lisa wants to go in. There's um, some building work or tree cutting down going on and she didn't like the noise. Is it wet? What are you going to go digging for? Oh, you're gonna make the puddle bigger, marvellous. Just what we wanted. My bananas are too big for my bag. Oh dear. Lissy, where's your shadow? Can you point to your shadow? That's right. Can you wave to your shadow? Hi, shadow. We've had a slow morning um, today. I bought a new storage box for Slings for the Sling Library um, and I did a little bit of organising of that this morning. So we've got demo dolls, wraps, newborn, buckles, miscellaneous. And what are you doing? My chest and Mummy's shoes out. Yeah, we don't need to stretch Mummy's shoes out. Yeah. We don't need to. And then Elise decided to pick a fight with the fence and lost. Went smack bang into it on her head. And she was ever so brave, but the energy it's taken out of me by looking after her and consoling her and getting ice packs and hearing her crying um, has been a massive drain. I had a bit of a fatigue crash um, or an energy crash and I'm just starting to feel a bit better, which is good because Dan's parents are on their way over. They're gonna come and spend some time in our garden today. And just like that, the weekend is over. Um, it's about 10 o'clock now and Elise has just been wanting to play in the bedroom. So I've managed to get a proposal for some content creation written. It's taken me a while to get through that. So I'm really pleased. That was my one job I wanted to do today. I'm really pleased I've got that finished and sent. Um, and I'm really excited about this project. Um, yeah, so Liz is happy. And last night I was starting to think about the logistics for my Botox injections, which are due to be um, the second half of October. Um, and I, I was starting to think about sort of how I would carry Elise. Um, but I was also starting to think of the logistics of having to get her into London and then having someone meet me there and look after her while I was in the hospital because I can only, they're only doing the person who needs treatment to go in which is very sensible um, and I wouldn't be able to have her with me for the treatment anyway but in terms of social distancing I was getting concerned that it would mean that actually we'd have to break social distancing rules to make this happen. Um, so I've done some reading and that's not gonna be the case. We do not have to break social distancing rules. Um, but it did make me think that actually I should probably film a whole vlog. So my next clip, you're not gonna see right now, and I'm going to do Botox, its whole own video, starting from about now, which is a month in advance of all of the kind of steps that are involved in actually making that appointment happen and fingers crossed it does actually happen because it looks like we may go into a few short lockdowns or 
you know, potentially a bigger one. So actually, it may not happen anyway, but I still need to make these plans um, in the hope that it does. I've had a very exciting parcel come through the post um, and I've been waiting for Elise to be asleep to open it and show you. So at the start of lockdown, I bought myself a weaving loom, um, partly because I can't knit anymore. My hands just don't like it. Um, I haven't been able to knit for quite a few years. Um, and I've previously enjoyed things like cross stitch. And I wanted to get a little bit more understanding of the principles involved in making a woven wrap, which is woven, as the name suggests. So I thought I'd get myself a little lap loom um, and have a try and it was great and I'm still doing it. I took a pause while I was doing my baby wearing consultancy course and I've picked it up again. Um, and my Nana is also no longer knitting. So she's sent over some wool for me. And I suddenly had an idea that if I get a smaller loom, so this is the square 20 by 20, 225 um, by a company called Spinspired which is all handmade in the UK. So I thought, I suddenly thought if I get a smaller one because my bigger one is too much to do what I want to, I'm going to make some Christmas presents. Um, it might be that I only manage to get one done a year but I think that's going to be a really nice thing for me to be working on and then to give as a Christmas present. Um, and as my Nana gave me a big blue cone of wool and a big white cone of wool, I thought I would start with a white snowflake on a blue background and she will be the first recipient of my woven Christmas presents. So I'm really excited. And I know there's more wool coming my way from my Nana too. Um, so in the lead up to this frame arriving, um, I thought I would create myself a little space for my wool because somebody found my knitting bag. So up here used to be um, wedding photos and a few other like wedding keepsakes. I've moved those. And so some of these are like, this is wool that I had before. Um, this is some of the wool that my Nana sent down. And at the back, the blue and white that I'm going to use for my snowflakes. So yesterday was a bit of a strange day. Um, we had some new lockdown rules put in place. We've now gone from alert level three to level four um, and new restrictions have been put in place. And I found waiting for yesterday's update and announcements um, the most difficult out of all of the kind of updates. Does your garden grow with silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row? Good singing, Squishy. Mummy, your jacket disappeared. Oh no! Can you see yourself? You're going to blow bubbles. You were blowing bubbles earlier. <gasps> <laughs> I, know, I know that this um, uncertainty is around like my Botox injection yeah. appointment um, yeah. next month. Yeah. I know yeah. that there's a chance that it could be postponed again. Yeah. Um, and I know what that would mean. And I know what, obviously, I know what I've already been dealing with because it's been postponed so far. Um, but all we can do is just Keep going. I have out water. Two. Well done. Three. Four. So Thursdays have ended up being um, a self care day. I'm not sure if that's the best way of describing it, but a back to basics reset, try and get myself back on track. Um, because I've recently started counselling for medical and birth trauma 
um, and I'm finding Thursdays, sometimes Fridays, and then occasionally a bit longer, quite difficult. Um, you might have noticed that I've not been filming on Thursdays and Fridays for the past few weeks, and that's why. Um, but then at the same time, like today, the weather's nice. It's gonna be cloudy in the afternoon, which means no bright sunlight. So I'm hoping to get some Instagram photos taken. I'm not very good at balancing this kind of take care of myself while also getting things done because I like getting things done. So is that a part of taking care of myself? I don't know. So I've put some nice clothes on. We'll see if I get some photos done. Um, also, just before my appointment, which is why I didn't show you, a walking stick arrived. I've ordered one for a couple of reasons. Um, I found that crutches with a toddler really difficult. Having two, they're big, they're bulky. It's just, they feel very cumbersome. I tried using one, but I find that when I put all of that emphasis on one side of my body, that then hurts that kind of arm, shoulder, wrist, etc. And unfortunately my crutches are a left and a right, so I can't just switch them. And I've also found that going to the park, I need a little bit more support when I'm having to leave my chair because it can't get quite close enough to the stuff Elise wants to play with. And my crutches don't fold up. So I ordered a walking stick. Um, oh, and also I've hurt my toe. I don't actually know what I did. I sat down on Tuesday and when I got up, I couldn't transfer weight through my toe and I had to kind of lift it up because just having it touching the floor was really painful. It's now turning purple. Um, I'm hoping this isn't something to be concerned about. It's probably just, I've hit it, it's bruised up badly, but I haven't noticed that I've hit it. And that's a common thing for people with EDS that we regularly bruise ourselves and hurt ourselves. And we're not necessarily sure how we've managed it. Um, so the, the walking stick was hopefully to help with that but when it arrived, it was too long, um, to the point where I tried a few steps with it and I've hurt my shoulder. Um, I am only five foot two and a half, five foot three-ish, um, and my legs are quite short. So I found an alternative and that's hopefully arriving tomorrow. Um, and fingers crossed that that is helpful and the right height. Lissy is wearing her clothes and having a race with the cat. Um, so if you hear her in the background, that's what's going on. <laughs> um, and my new walking stick has arrived and it's the right height. On the lowest setting, it's the right height. Um, I'm short, but I'm particularly short in the legs. And this is the Adapt yellow folding walking stick and they do different colors. Um, I'm gonna take the label off. I'm so relieved because as well as my toe changing colors, my legs have become more and more painful as today's gone on. Not just in terms of in the joint, but like, I'm not sure if it's muscle or nerves or what, but it's all over my legs now. My hips hurt, my knees hurt, my ankles hurt. Um, which is unsurprising because I'm having to walk slightly differently, which then kind of puts everything else out of balance. And with EDS, that's not ideal and can cause additional problems. So I'm relieved to have a walking stick that's the right height. I'm hoping that it will make a difference. Um, so I feel like this is a positive step. The ADAPT stick was the shortest I was able to find on Amazon because I needed it ASAP. I had some great recommendations um, from people on Instagram that included Neo sticks, which looked great, but I needed something folding um, and switch stick. Chloe Tear, who is a disabled blogger, was kind enough to have a chat with me about the Adapt sticks, which is what she uses before I ordered. You're just building a tower, lovely. It makes such a difference when you can speak to someone who is already using that mobility aid because 
while different people get on differently with different things, it's easier to gauge whether a particular thing is gonna work for you. I'm looking forward to a new week of vlogging starting tomorrow, um, where I can show you how I'm getting on with it. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in next week's vlog. Bye.